let me entertain you. Um, this is not a standard Petra Kutcher, I'm afraid, Karen. <laughs> Petra Kutchers rely upon beautiful slide sets. I've done one Petra Kutcher in my life before today, and what I did was I wrote and recited 20 limericks. Today, I have 20 musical cues to stimulate your mind and otherwise entirely blank slides. So you're going to see two great Petra Kutchers and one weird one. Um, and we've already moved to the next slide. So tip number one, let's start at the very beginning. Sing along, you get a chocolate. Um, the, the key thing is, don't get your registrars to start at the very beginning. When they come into your room to ask you a question, make them start with a question, not I just saw a 63-year-old with something. Love is all you need. Bruce Willett's favourite tip. Sometimes when your kids are really at you and you're grumpy and tired, you get really cross. Sometimes you do that with registrars. You tell your kids the next day you still love them, you've got to do that to the registrars too. You don't know me. Thank you. Ask before tell. Find out about people. Don't just walk in and assume and tell them what's going on and how they should practice. Find out all that you need to know about the registrar. You've got months to be with them. Do you see what I see? You have to watch registrars. You need to watch them in action or you can never give meaningful feedback. You can't help them grow or develop or change and then you have to watch them again. We could sing the rest of the song. Lady, come across the water. That's not actually Crisis What's Crisis, a song called Lady from the album Crisis What's Crisis by Supertramp. Thank you. Oops. Um, you've got to be a supervisor who's available. You've got to be able to debrief critical incidents, and this is why you can't just leave people alone. You've got to be with them. Knowing me, knowing you. <laughs> They've got to watch you too. They don't know what real general practice is. They don't see proper general practice. They see walk-ins and strange stuff. They don't know how to apply things in practice. If they don't watch you, it doesn't work. Paperback writer. Who's that? Come on. Thank you. I don't know, somebody over there. Um, and make them take the notes when they watch you. Because then you see, on a consultation, you know what happened, what sort of record did they make, and you will know forever if you can trust their notes when you want to do a clinical audit thing with notes. It's a really cool way. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. Thank you. Good catch, nearly. Let everybody in the practice know what the registrar or student wants. If they want to see skin, tell every doctor. You get an interesting skin thing, get the student in here. Go into the chapel and where? Going to get married. This is the first of five micro skills of teaching. Number one, get a commitment. I hope you're getting all connections, by the way. Don't let them, I think, what do you think it is? What are you going to do? Make them commit, they'll learn so much more, right or wrong, doesn't matter. Tell me why. Thanks, Karen. Number two of these is. Probe for the underlying reasoning. Find out why they made that commitment so you can help them and see why they got there. They might have got the right, right answer for the wrong reason. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. My own invention, have a chocolate. Um, the diamond is start off with a specific case and the, the third is, the third um, item in the five, micro skills, is expand and teach general rules but remember to bring it back to the diamond and sure you answer their question about that case. I love you. I honestly love you. There's Olivia right over there somewhere. <laughs> Third one is provide, fourth one, provide positive feedback. Doesn't have to be quite that you love them really, <laughs> but positive feedback. What did in that analysis? They might have had the wrong diagnosis. They might have had some really good reasoning. So provide the feedback that's relevant. A bit more super tramp. Right, right. You're bloody well right, except sometimes you're not. All right, and the next one is correct errors. If you don't take the chance to correct an error, who wants a chocolate back there? If you don't take a chance to correct an error, it's gone forever. So it doesn't have to be right. It's okay to correct errors. Out of those five micro skills, it's been a hard day's night. I've been working like a dog. So make the registrar do the work. Call it flip classroom if you like. They need to prepare 
They need to do the work. You need to use your expertise to help them. I think I can. I think I can. Little red engine. Yay. So when you're not confident, and the worst thing of all is the totally brilliant registrar, what you've got that they haven't is experience. Help them to use that amazing knowledge into the context of a patient in the community who's coming to visit them. Help! I need somebody, it's my last chocolate. Just any, not just anybody, use the patient to help you. As far as possible, present cases in the room with the patient and get the patient involved, giving feedback. Is this the thing they were talking about? Is that what happened in the consultation? Let them correct the errors that go with it. Working nine to five without a chocolate to give. Oh, I've got one left. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> Being a supervisor is part of your job. Don't do it after hours. Don't go to stuff on weekends. But make it part of your job and commit to it so you give time to registrars, learning and developing yourself as part of your work and think of it that way to look after yourself. Oh, I'd do anything for you, dear. Anything. <coughs> oh, I'd do anything for you, meaningful responsibility, it's another Bruce Willett one. General practice is a great job, it's a great life, but it's a shit spectator sport. All right, so give them meaningful things to do, especially students, don't just sit them in the corner. So long, farewell, or feeders and good night. Make sure, thank you, I've had a chocolate. Make sure that you end a term well and that you provide great feedback, but ask for feedback too. And so long from me.